Hello rail fans, and welcome to Bridge Fried Trains. Today we're going to be continuing on and finishing up our fantasy Union Pacific passenger train that we worked on in the previous two videos. We already did these superliner observation cars, so now we're going to do a superliner cab car for the rear end of the train here. Bridge Fried Trains is a channel for adult rail vans and minecrafters and is not intended for children under 13 years of age. This is a fan channel for fun. We are not affiliated in any way with Microsoft or Mojang. This is not an official Minecraft product. And as a friendly reminder, I do not take requests at all. Thank you and enjoy the video. So remember, if you still need to build the rest of the train, that was in yesterday and the day before his video. So we're going to start off with our coupler. So we're going to come down here on the second layer with a dark oak stair and attach that up in the middle and under it put a sideways dark oak bed skate here. Then on the next block forward on the bottom, we need a stone brick top slab on the middle and one on each outer edge of the tracks like this. Then on the second layer, we're going to go five wide of stone brick blocks right here. Then we'll come in here and open a dark oak bed skate on either side of the coupler. And on each outer corner, put a mangrove button here. Then come down here on the bottom and we're going to put a polished andesite slab and an upside down polished andesite stair like this on either side. Then we're going to go on the next block back behind these stairs on bottom and put a fence gate on each rail. Behind that, we're going to do a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Behind that, we're going to go five wide of polished andesite bottom slabs and then three long. And then three on this top middle. Behind this, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle here. Then take a polish andesite stair, and we're going to put a forward facing stair on each of these back wheels, and a backward facing stair on each of these front wheels. Then on the side of the truck, put a skeleton skull on each end, three fence gates here, and open the outer two. And then repeat that over on this side here, just like that. Then take out cyan terracotta up here, and go three wide in the middle and bring it until it's over these back wheels here. Then on the side of this second layer, put a row of stone brick blocks across here. And same thing on this side. We'll put a row of stone brick blocks across here as well. Then we're gonna go behind this on this rail and we're gonna do a line right down the rail of cyan terracotta. And we're gonna make that a total of 22 blocks long. Two. And then we're going to go ahead and just make this three wide in the middle of cyan terracotta and bring it all down 22 blocks long to the end here. Then on the side we're going to start at one end and we're going to do 10 stone brick blocks coming in from the end. start from the other end and do 10 stone brick blocks coming down from this end and that'll find the center and in the center we're going to put two upside down polish andesite stairs copy that across to this side and then fill this whole section in with stone brick block and then fill this whole section in with stone brick blocks then we're going to do the rear truck behind this. So we'll put another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. And a polished andesite stair going this way on each side. Behind this, a 5x3 of polished andesite bottom slabs. And then three slabs on the top middle. Behind this, another set of another right wheels and an end rod axle. And put a backward facing polished andesite stair on each of these back wheels. On the side here, put a skeleton skull on each stair, three fence gates in the middle, then open the outer two. Go ahead and copy that over here. Then we'll also add a fence gate on the back of these two wheels here. Then come up on top of these wheels, go three wide on top with cyan terracotta, 
can bring that across the top middle. And we're going to make it stick out one block past these fence gates. On the side up here, put an upside down polished andesite stair on either side, facing outward like this. And then we will also go ahead and put a polished andesite slab on the bottom of each of these stairs on either side here, like that. Then put an upside down polished andesite stair facing outward here, three forward facing stairs here, and an upside down stair outward here. On the top middle, a polished andesite block, and two upside down stairs facing forward on each side. Take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block here. Under it, put a fence gate, and we'll also open a fence gate on either side of the coupler up here. Then across this side in terracotta, put a row of stone brick blocks till you get right here. And go ahead and repeat on this side and fill up here with stone brick blocks as well. Next, go on these two stairs in the center here and put two birch doors here and two on this side. Then fill this outer edge with stone brick blocks across here and on that side. And repeat on the other side of the door, a row of stone brick block here and across here. Then we're going to move down onto the end of the car here. Across the end, we're going to put five stone brick blocks going sideways on the end. Then three iron trap doors on this top middle like this. A door in the center, two by two of yellow concrete on either side. On top of this, do two rows of five yellow concrete. Then come on the end with black stone brick wall, two on either side of the door, three across the top like that. And we're gonna repeat that for the other end. So come down here. We're gonna go five wide of stone brick blocks here. And we're gonna do three iron trap doors on the middle here. Then a door in the center. A two by two of yellow concrete on either side of the door. And two rows of five yellow concrete on top. Then take your black stone brick wall. Come up either side of the door and then over the top of it. Just like that. Then come down here, put two stone brick blocks on either side. Then we're going to do a two by two of deep slate tile walls on either side. Then a single stone brick block. Then a column of two smooth stone blocks on each side. Then a single stone brick block here and here. Now we'll come down and start from this end. Down here, we're going to do two stone brick blocks on each side. Then a column of two deep slate tile walls. Then two stone brick blocks. Then two smooth stone blocks like this. Then a stone brick block here and here. Then we're going to put yellow concrete in all of these gaps on either side. And repeat down here and put yellow concrete in all of these gaps on either side as well. Then we'll come down here. We're going to do two black stained glass panes, stone brick, two stained glass panes, stone brick, two stained glass pane, two stone brick. Copy this pattern of windows directly across to this other side. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side. So down here, we're going to do two black stained glass panes, stone brick block. Two stained glass panes, stone brick block. Two stained glass panes here, two stone brick. And on this other side, just fill this with stone brick because that's where the stairs will be. Then on top, do a full line of yellow concrete going end to end across the top here. And we will repeat on this side and do a full line of yellow concrete across the top of this side as well. And then above this, we're just going to do three more layers of yellow concrete. So it's all at that same height. And we're going to bring this all the way across the top of both sides here. It's done we're gonna come up on top of the front end of the car here right here do five stone brick blocks then we're gonna do two on either side like this 
Then we're gonna skip two and one, skip two and one, skip two and one, skip two and one, and just keep repeating that pattern. Coming forward, except this end's gonna be a gap, so we're gonna stop here. On here, we're gonna put a stone brick block in the middle and two black glass blocks on either side. A white stained glass pane here and here. And behind this, do two black stained glass panes on either side for the cab windows. And we'll add two stone brick blocks in this gap. And now we have the cap framed in and we're just gonna copy our pattern of stone brick blocks directly across to this side. Then we'll go back through and we're gonna fill all these window gaps with two black stained glass panes each. And of course, same thing on this side, fill all the windows with two black stained glass panes each. Just like that. Now we're gonna make some banners that come into a loom with a yellow banner and red dye. Put a vertical on the left and right, horizontal on bottom. New banner. Vertical on the left and right and a diagonal. New banner. Vertical in the center. New banner. Vertical on each side. Horizontal on the top and the bottom. Go to yellow dye and put a yellow border around every single one of these letter banners. Then we're gonna come up top here. And we're gonna go under this window divider by this central window here, next to where the door is. Use the banners to spell out union. Repeat on this side. So under this block here, use the banners right here to spell out the word union. Then we can clear some of these off, but to keep the letter I as you will need it. We'll come back into our loop, yellow banner and red dye again. Put a vertical on the left, top half red. New banner, vertical on either side, horizontal on the middle and the top. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on top and bottom. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on the middle and the top. Then go to yellow dye and we will put a yellow border around every single one of these banners. Then we're gonna come up here, skip two blocks over to right here and use your banners to spell out the word Pacific. And then of course, repeat on this side. Come right here, skip two over. Use the banners right here to spell out the word Pacific. Just like that. Now we have one more banner to make. So come into a loom with a white banner and red dye. Put these stripes on it and make the top half blue. Then we'll come place this, so we're gonna come up here. Put one banner right here. And one banner right here. And go ahead and repeat that on this side of the car. So one banner here. And one banner here. Then we're gonna come up to this end and detail the cap. Right here in the middle, we're gonna put a glow item frame with a frog light. Then we're also gonna put one down on here and here with frog lights. Then under these windows, we're gonna add a glow item frame here and here and put redstone blocks in these ones. Then we need a regular item frame. And we're gonna put that under this headlight with this banner on it for the logo. Then here, we're gonna put a dark oak sign with our number since this is Spanish, they use whatever number you want. And repeat that on this side. Hit them both with white dye and a glow exact each. Now we're going to work on the interior. So come inside on this mid deck here. Put a polished deep slit stair here and here. Then fill this up here with cyan terracotta for the floor. And bring it next to this stair here. A 2x2 two two is the most stone blocks here. We're gonna repeat on this end. So a two by two of stone brick blocks, or smooth stone blocks here, two stairs here. We'll fill this up here with cyan terracotta. Just like that. Then up here, we're gonna do a two by two of smooth stone, cauldron with water, and portal. Two by two of smooth stone, cauldron with water, and portal. Two by two of smooth stone, 
then we're gonna put an iron door here and here and a birch door here and here then we will crouch and put a white banner over these iron doors to hide the windows on them and that makes the little bathrooms then we're gonna grab a bookshelf here and we're gonna come down here and put two bookshelves in here then we'll add a torch next to this door we're gonna come down to this other end now and on top of this, another 2x2 two two of smooth stone block. And then we'll do our stairs. So we need to come next to this inner door on the side with no window. Do two columns of five smooth stone blocks here. Then a stair going this way here and here. On the third layer, turn this way so it goes like this. Then a column of five smooth stone blocks here. Then we're going to put an upside down stair here so it's flat and then a stair going this way on the fourth layer. Put three smooth stone under this and two columns of five smooth stone right here to frame it in. Then in this section we'll start doing some seats so we're going to put a stair here and here like this. Then one here and one here in the middle of each one an end rod for the birch trap door for tables. Then we'll come past these stairs over here, start right here, and do a stair every other block for seats in this section, like this. Then we'll do the mid deck down on this end over here, so come back down here. And we're going to do two sets of tables on each side with chairs, so just stairs like this, then copy the pattern, put an end rod in all four of the gaps between them and a birch trap door on all four end rods. Then we'll do the next floor. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna go on this level right here and just start at one end and go three wide with cyan terracotta and start filling it all in for the divide between floors. Bring it right down to here and then come past this side of the stairs here and behind it go three wide again and bring the cyan terracotta all the way down to the end. And now we'll build the cab here. So we're going to put a lectern in the middle, a glow item frame with an end crystal here, and a lever here. Then we're going to put a black stone brick stair here and here for seats. Behind this, we're going to do two smooth stone blocks here and here with a door in the middle. Then we'll add a torch here and here come down to this end, add a torch here and here. Then we're going to do a stair every other block coming up each side of this top floor. And we'll stop here. We're going to add two smooth stone blocks here, two across this. And then I'm going to make sure we can fit down these stairs and we can. And we'll also add two right here to wall that off. Then come up right here, start here, and do a stair every other block for this section. And now the interior is complete. We're gonna come up on top of the end here, go three wide on the top middle with our stone brick blocks to make the roof in the center. And we're just gonna bring that all the way across the top of the car and down to our other end. right down to the end here. Up here we're going to put a mangrove button on this corner and this corner. Then on this top outer edge we're going to do a full line of stone brick slabs across here. Going end to end and then repeat on this side and go end to end up here with our stone brick slabs. Just like that. Now we're gonna come up on top of the cab here. We're gonna add three iron trap doors in the middle here. We're gonna add a conduit in the center here for a caution light. Then we're gonna open a jungle fence gate here and a sideways one behind it for the horn. So there we have it folks. We finally completed our fantasy Union Pacific Superliner cab car. 
and I hope everyone enjoyed building this train. And this now finally, after three videos, completes our fantasy Union Pacific modern passenger train. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.